data, bandwidth, intelligence, they come together to form a new ecosystem, a new platform, a new society based around the cloud. And what does that look like? It's going to be a place that most of us will spend most of the day, but we won't even know that there is a cloud unless it turns off. So it's like air. It'll be something that's present, that we live in, but we're, we don't really pay much attention to unless it's gone. We will never be away from it. We're always on, everywhere, everything. Is that all this AI is being served on the cloud, okay? It's, a, it's IQ as service. And so just as you don't generate your own electricity, you aren't gonna generate your own AI, you're just gonna plug it in and purchase as much IQ as you want. That is really very, very profound. The idea of a intelligence that is served up to us on demand as much as we need um, really will do to the world what electricity did to a previous generation. There was all kinds of things that uh, the Industrial Revolution took, which was done manually, and then they electrified it. Now we're going to go through a very similar revolution. Not the Industrial Revolution, but an intelligence revolution where we take things that are already electric and we're going to cognify it. We're going to add intelligence to it. I think that the arrival of cloud-served AI is so important that it's going to be the main driver in the next 20 years. The next 10,000 startups will eventually be taking something, some X, some product, some service right now, and they're, you're going to add AI to it and make it smarter. 50% of the apps, even the next five years, are going to be cloud-based. Effect and disruption on business models based around the arrival of this ubiquitous cloud. Um, for one thing, I think service products become services. So things that we now sell as individual items will likely be moved to subscriptions in many cases. That's a disruption in the business model. Despite all the things that I was talking about, the one thing I can be pretty sure about is that the greatest products in the next 20 years have not been invented yet, today. So in 20 years now, when we're talking about it, we'll be talking about things that don't even exist today. And so that means to everybody here that you get to invent those greatest products. And that means that you are not late.